On today's adventure with the beaver retriever. All right, we're gonna put a trap right down in this bank down here. Get my weight right there. Yeah, check out that beaver. Now we're supposed to get two feet of snow today, so I'm not messing around with my traps here. I'm just gonna pull them. All right, so we're off checking some traps and setting some new traps. So we're at a spot I'm gonna set another trap. So here's where I'm gonna put my first new set for the day. I'm gonna move some of these rocks around and kind of build build a channel there and put a foothold right there. All right, I'm gonna maybe go try to find a better spot on that other shore right there. So we're gonna go across the bridge and go over there and see what I can find. I'm just not, not excited about that spot. It would work if I can't find a better spot. But, all right. Well, this shore here, where I'm looking. Oh, camera's stuck. Stuff up. Come down, checking out some more spots. Oh, chaga. I'm gonna have to come pick that. Look at that piece of chaga. Now we're gonna get that chaga while we're here right now. Get a, get a stick here. Big stick. I can poke that right off. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a good piece of chaga. I sell this stuff, so whenever I see it, I pick it. It's a mushroom, it grows right back. What's left up there in that tree will grow back. Well, this chaga stuff, they make it into a tea. They simmer it in some water and make it into a tea and it's very, very healthy for you. So I even drink some myself and it's very, very healthy. I mean, you should look it up, it's, it's healthy. <laughs> I'll leave a link in the description to the description of chaga. So. Yeah, I probably can make something do right there. That's where we'll set it. Move some of the stuff. We'll put my trap right there. So here's my final set. I got a old trap right there. And caster mound right here. All right, so we're at my second new spot that I want to set up. And if you watch some of my previous videos, if you remember the ice jam video, this is where the pieces of ice were all through the forest ice chunks all over the place out here all right so i just walked down this whole shore trying to find good spots i did see see one really good spot now i'm down here on this point this is where two rivers meet this is the river we just walked down and this is the big river that we just set a trap up river but i think i just found a bank down here see all these beaver sticks sunk down in there so we're gonna climb down here and Maybe just set a trap right in front of the bank den entrance. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely a bank den right here. All right, we're gonna put a trap right down in this bank den here. Drop this down in there for the second time. Got that set all in. Took a minute. Still ain't perfect, but I think it'll do. We'll see what it looks like next time when I check it. All right, we're going to water and look at it. Just a forest full of icebergs. That's pretty cool. So here's my second spot in that same area. I just went way up river, above the bridge now. And this is a spot I've set year after year. It's a good little channel off of this river. You can see my sticks from last year. I wired my sticks all together. Up from right here, so that way I'd have sticks this year. I do that in some places, so I'm not out looking for sticks. All right, let me get this drop down in there. Perfect. 
we got one more spot I want to check out, maybe put a trap in, and then we'll uh, check the eight traps I already got out there. So, all right, here we go. All right, we're at my final location. Then I'm gonna, for new spots. Pond's still locked up, but there is some open water here where this river comes in. So I found a pretty good location right here, I think. As long as I can get trapped deep enough out there. But I just wanted to show you, this is a different type of conner bear trap. It's a round, a round conner bear trap instead of a square one. I had a couple of these I'm trying out. I've had a lot of misses with them, so I don't really like them. I like the, the square has a bigger opening. So, but this time of year I set all my traps, so we're going to set it. This is our final new set for today. That's the trap right there. Trap is right in the water right there. Got a caster back here. This mound. Alright, on to our next spot. We're going to start checking traps now. Yes, yeah, so we're on to another location. Got two traps out here. So let's see what we get. Oh, we got a beaver. There's a beaver in the first one. Here it is. It looks like a nice big one, too. That's a big beaver. Ugh. Yeah. That's a huge beaver. That's a nice one. Oh, yeah. That beaver is huge. Reset. Trap straight down in there. So eventually I'll probably gonna try to move over into a channel over here. This was all frozen when I sat here. We got one more to check here, so let's see what we get there. Nothing in my next one. So Alright, I want to make a beaver carrier real quick. I usually have one of these every every spring to carry beaver out. So we're going to make one real quick, show you how I do it. I just went and found a stick that the, uh, that the beaver chewed up. That looks good. So we're going to take... Take a couple of snares here. Shorten them right up. Yeah, that should work. It's a pain in the butt to carry beaver around. Especially these big ones, you grab them like that and you're getting them all up against you getting soaked. And so it makes a beaver carrier. Just put a couple old snares here, put one around one foot, one around the other back foot. It works pretty good, it carries them pretty easy. Grab the trap setters, grab the camera, and we're off. See, that ain't bad. Headed down into another location. This is where we saw the beaver on the other shore. I still haven't caught a beaver here. Not real impressed with this spot, but who knows? Maybe today will be different. Oh yeah, we got one today. Another beaver number two for today. Nice. Yep. That'd be a beaver. All right, and get him hauled out and reset. All right, get that beaver out of the trap. But I made my beaver carrier there on that last one. Ugh. Get up there, I'm gonna get this trap reset. There's another, there's my remake. So, all right, on to the next one. This beaver carrier makes it so much easier. I can plug it out. If not, I'd be like this. Oh, trying to pick it up like that, it's just. I can't have my arm stretched out. It's gotta be up. If you go like this, at least your arm can stay stretched out. And it's so much easier. All right, let's see what we got. No, it's set off. 
Oh yeah, got another beaver. Yep, sweet. All right, I've got that all reset. Traps right there. That's already caught me two beaver in the last five days. So. Here's my other trap in this location, and it's still, still haven't caught anything there. All right, so that's number three for the day. Carrier off. Throw in there. Whoa. All right, we're to another location. Let's see what we got. Nope, nothing. Trap is still set. Alright, we got two more, two more traps to check, so I'm hoping for at least one more beaver. It'd be nice to catch four today, so. This is the final two spots for today. This is where I fell in the other day. <laughs> oh, yep. Yep, big old beaver. Huge beaver. That's uh, a big beaver. Right there. Yeah, check out that beaver. That's a pretty big beaver. There. That's set. Didn't fall in this time. Yep, trapped right there. Alright, we're gonna go check our last one. Final location, and we got one last beaver. So that makes that makes five. Five out of eight traps had uh had beaver in them. So we're gonna get this beaver drug out of here. Get it reset. Alright, here's another good beaver for the day. Ugh. Yeah, so this spot's pretty good. This spot and that last spot that I've checked. Both times I've done a check here, I've caught beaver. So I've caught four beaver here in the last four days. And two traps. That's pretty good. These spots are counting. Let's see if it's Here. Yeah, that one's good. Gonna make a good dive stick. All right, that was a pretty good day of trapping. So, five beaver out of the eight traps I had out. That was pretty good. So, we're gonna uh, process all these beaver and be ready for the next batch. This one weighs 56 and a half pounds. That's a big beaver. Biggest one I've ever caught, 63 pounds. But that one's, that's a good sized beaver. I think that's the biggest one. This one seems pretty big too. Let's weigh this one too. This one weighs 49 pounds. That other one's huge. Ow. Oh yeah, oh, that beaver is big. That one right there. So we got today's five beaver scun out. And the other day's three, and I had one from the from the day before. So there's all that's a lot of meat. Me and the dogs. Perfectly good, healthy meat. So that's cool. Woodshed's looking a little full now. Beaver pelts everywhere. Bunch of tan pelts up there. So we're headed out to check traps again. I'm trying to check them every every other day. Yep, water level came up quite a bit. Traps way down under. No beaver. 
Yeah, this one's still set too. And it's supposed to be nice out for a few days, so I, I'm just gonna leave them, let the water level go back down. I'll re relure them here. Either tomorrow or the next day. Yeah, it's probably flooded out too here. We're on our next location. I almost should have waited until tomorrow to uh, check these. The water level is going back down. Yep, no beaver in that one. Yeah, that's the only problem with springtime trapping is all these rains will make the water fluctuate. It goes up and down a lot. And if I knew it was going to stay up, I'd move them, but I know it's going to go right back down. So I'm just going to come back tomorrow or the next day and uh, reset and relure them all. On to the next location. Water levels way up. Oh, we got a beaver. Nice. Medium-sized beaver. I checked my second trap at that location. And it is still set. I'm not going to mess with it. On to the next one. Oh, wow. That level's wicked high. I don't see the trap. So there must be a beaver down there somewhere. Yep, we got a beaver. Little one. Yep, probably the smallest one yet. In the last week. This is where I fell in the other day. Another trap, and there is a beaver down in the water there. All right, so we're gonna get that pulled. That's pretty cool. These traps have produced every single time I've checked them. Next spot. Water's hammering. So I'm wondering if I can just check it from up here. Oh yeah, I still see my foothold. So I'm not gonna walk down in there for nothing. Yep, no beaver are interested in that yet. Didn't do another location. This one I actually gotta walk down into. It's nice to be able to bring the dog out, go for the walk. Good exercise. He needs to use up some energy. Yeah, whoa. No, nope, I see a beaver down there. Water levels up quite a ways. That's enough. Hey, boss. It's already dead, boss. Boss. Hey. doing there he comes Boom. wish I had his energy getting up to my 
next trap and nothing to another location guys go to piss Yep, still set. No beaver come up through here. So, come on, boss. All right, off to the next one. Oh, final location. Now those levels up. Oh, I still see my trap. So, yeah, that was pretty good day's catch. Got another four. So, I've gotten twelve in the last week. Woodshed's looking pretty full of beaver pelts now. Beaver carcasses. And skulls. Nope, that and up. Alright, we're on to another day. We're going to do another check. So let's go out and check out my first first trap. Supposed to get a bunch of snow, so I was debating whether I wanted to pull these or or just leave them. I think I'm just gonna leave them. I'm gonna recaster them and leave them. This one's still set. So put some new caster in it and we'll see what happens. Yeah, we're supposed to get three to six inches of snow tonight and tomorrow. So we'll see how that helps out on the trap and it won't. It, I need to stay warm. Yep, so let's see what we got. We're at our next location. Got two traps down in here. Nope, nothing in this one. Nope, nothing in this one either. I'm gonna recaster it. Move on. Last check to all the caster sand is washed away. Big rain. I never recaster it. Plan was to recaster it today, so that's what we're doing. So I highly doubt we catch a lot today. And it's supposed to be cold and snowy for the next few days, so I don't know how much I'm really gonna catch the next few days. Alright, next spot. Trap is still set. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw some new caster to it. And see what happens. Keep forgetting to bring my fishing pole. I want to try fishing right here. This is a spot I usually fish during the summer. Nice fish it during the winter. But while I'm checking traps, I should wet a line right there. Yep, still set right there so we're gonna uh new caster in right here i'll probably go another check or so check or two if i don't catch anything i'll probably pull this trap all right we're on to the one that i gotta walk down into i actually like this one it's nice to go for a little walk down the river here yeah, this one's that bank den one that i set we caught a beaver on our last check. Yep, we got another beaver. This bank den one is producing. Trout boss, go. Yeah. Is that the second beaver we've caught out of there? That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good size one. Right down in there. Put a wheel carrier on it. It'll start snowing this afternoon. It's nice out right now. All right, down into the second one that we got here. We had one way down river, and we got one just above the bridge here. And we don't have anything. So we're gonna uh, recaster the spot up and 
move on walk right down into this one and recaster it hopefully we got a beaver Let's see from up here if we do or not no we don't all right get this one all recastered up it's a foothold right there down to our headed for our next ones so let's see what we got this is where i fell in the other day no nope, still set no nope, that's good some casters there after every time we get a big rain you should recaster it all right let's see what we got See the trap. I don't see no beaver either. So what's going on here? I found it. It was set off with a beaver in it. So I'm gonna move a couple of these sticks out of my way. Some off to the sides. Maybe set with them. Yeah. I'm climb up here. Get that beaver out of that trap. Small beaver. Get this trap reset. Carry this one out and we'll be the two more to check. Carry this guy out, just a little one. Gonna go right up here to the road. Walk out this way. There's an old cable. Yeah. Old metal cable. I don't know what you're gonna see out here. Yeah, I'm headed for my uh, final location here. Two traps down in here. Oh, that's not the iceberg we've been walking over. It's finally falling on down. Oh, yeah. No, nope, nothing in this trap. So, yep, nothing in either one of them. So, we're gonna, uh, recaster them and head it home. Just got checked by the warden. Good thing I know them all around here. They know me. They, I'm the nuisance beaver guy in this area. I deal with the wardens all the time. So he just stopped in, said hi, and left. So that's good. No, it's nice having a good relationship with the game wardens around here. Yeah, so we got two today. That's good enough for me. Still having this gun the last four that we caught in the last check. So, will give me something to do tomorrow. I'll process them. Only got so many boards to dry beaver on, so I gotta can only put so many on the boards. Alright, so we're pulling traps today. We just got a foot of snow a couple days ago. And now we're supposed to get two feet of snow today, so I'm not messing around with my traps here. I'm just gonna pull them. Wait till it warms back up and they start moving again. This beaver probably ain't even moving in this crap. This is all iced over, so they wouldn't be coming out there. Traps are froze right in. I'm gonna have to break out my chisel. This one was still set, so. This one was still set. No beaver in that one. Still set. I think it didn't go off when I just did all that. This was all bare ground a few days ago. The river's even freezing back up. It's been super cold. Try not to slide down this bank too bad. Oh, I see the trap. I was still set, so we got that trap out. So we're on to the next one. So enjoy the view for a minute. Yep, so much for spring. Turned into winter pretty quick. We got a foot of snow there. 
a couple days ago. We're about to get up to two feet on this storm. So it's snow today into the night. So we'll uh, be pulling my traps. Supposed to go get my chisel out of the truck. Using a stick here, but yeah. It's all set off. So now I can reach right down in there and grab it. Big chunks of slush coming down the river. It's pretty cool. Break the ice out. Yeah, nothing in that one. Yeah, it's been wicked cold, so the beaver ain't on the move. I had uh, 13 degrees yesterday. I think I had 11 degrees the day before. So they just, they're just not on the move when it's cold out and it's snowing. They're hunking down right now. So. Man. Yeah, the trap was still set. I see it right there. Set off now, so oh. whoa, falling down. I'm trying to do this with this camera. I don't have my stand today, so I'm using just the selfie stick. Yeah. Yep, didn't catch nothing. Oh, we caught an iceberg. A big chunk of ice. This is that spot I wanted to go fishing at, and I still didn't bring my fishing pole. I go fishing on a day like today. Open water right there. Whoa. I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna make it back up to that, but. Yeah, you just hit that trigger right in the center there. And it sets them off, but the safeties were on so the springs didn't go out. So, I'm to make it back up this freaking bank here. Oh, I'm not going to be able to. bank pulled right off into the snow here I don't know how it's gonna come out of here one that we got to walk down into. A bunch of slush headed down river. Getting there. A bunch of slush in this one. Look how much slush is in that river. All the snow that we're getting right now. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Big slush fall. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Big line of it. And that river comes in. Does that bank then trap? I'm gonna try to hold on to something. I really don't want to slide into the river today. I think I can go right to like the base of these trees here. Yeah, she looks like she should be cold today. Oh, I don't know if it's... It is still set. So, now it's unset. Oh. Yeah, that slash looks pretty cool. Especially when you go down into here. This is 
One big channel in the middle there. This is another river over on this side. So, pretty cool. All right, we got that trap out. So, that caught me two beaver there. That's also pretty cool how it's all coming down this side right here. It's where the faster water flow is on the outside corners. When you're running a river on ice, you always stay on the inside corner. Because that's moving slower than the outside corner. Which is creating unsafe ice at past water. And it all kind of spreads out down here. Yep, still set. Oh, I just set it off. Why are these sticks all clumped together? There. Yeah, fly as far as I lose them. Yeah, got my sticks all ready for next year. Get my trap. So we're on to the next spot. Touch the softwood trees today and you get wet. Knock the branches off before I go under it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out one of these other great videos I got on the screen right now and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you.